So hi me again and welcome back. So uh, this is I think the 17th part of the tutorial and I think it will be also the last one. I think we did a lot of uh, details on the model, uh, a lot of small things and all these small things and the details cost us 70,000 uh, 70, police which is really a lot. It also cause uh, I was trying to model it uh, that at the end you can use either smooth or just uh, subdivision or some combination of that. So also this uh, bring to the model a lot of polys. Now um, you should maybe ask like why I was doing it like that. I just wanted to show that uh, you can do really good looking and smooth models also just using the smooth modifier and not uh, just subdivision. So. I think I completed my mission. So, uh, about the materials and texturing, uh, I decided to do for that uh, another tutorial because uh, I want to combine a little bit more Photoshop with making the textures and stuff like that. So, uh, I will stop here. I will just make you a few more details and fix something which I saw. And uh, for me, the tutorial is done. And after in some time, I will do the rendering and materials in a different tutorial where we will also combine the Photoshop. So uh, let's fix here something first, and after we can, uh, I don't know, make uh, the details a little bit more detailed. So I will do a few more cuts here, here up, uh, which can cause problems here. Also, I noticed that it, it would be nice to make. Oops few cuts also here. Just one cut. I mean two cuts from there here. Just to combine and connect the shapes together. Now I will turn all off the reference picture here, here, this one. Uh, height selection. And just rotate the model and look a little bit more. So I could also, um, probably I will, uh, connect uh, these edges to the edges which are above, so I'll just make again a few cuts. No, I'm not doing it really straight, uh, which I should actually, but I don't think anyone will see the difference anyway. And I think the best would be to hide this first. So hide selection and uh, make these cuts here and connect it to here. Now, uh, <coughs> of course, if you would like to use just the subdivision, you will don't have to make so much chamfers like we did. Or if you would like to use just a smooth, you need a little bit more tweaks on the model. Like here, I we was doing it very well. I will show later. Here, uh, I was a little bit lazy. So here it would be nice to make a few more chamfers. And so on. So it's just up to you uh, how the final model will look. So I keep it uh, in your judgment. And anyway, how you like. But I hope uh, you got, f uh, you learned something from the modeling parts here. I know uh, sometimes I do mistakes, but uh, like everyone, uh, I don't try to hide them. I'm not perfect, and really, uh, to do mistakes are like natural by this stuff and. You have to know uh, how to fix them, because if you do them, uh, it's fine. But if you don't know how to fix the uh, mistake after, uh, it's really a problem. Now, we'll delete this one here and recreate. We we'll just select the border and cap it. And I will try to cut again.
Okay, we'll go just here straight down. Okay, uh, I think just these fixes I wanted to do. Uh, probably here's a little bit more, uh, but I don't see any so far. So if you will find something, uh, and I'm sure you can fix it by yourself without any problem. So uh, that's not a problem. Okay, uh, now uh, more of the details I was telling before, in the part before that I will use Gribo. Now Gribble is a really nice plugin, it's for free, you can download it from the official site. And how it's work? Uh, you just select a model or just a poly. Now here it should be, yeah, here is it, Gribble. And how, uh, what it's doing, it's uh, like very easy, it generates objects uh, on some plane or let's say here. Now. I don't have any, I have no idea why. Huh. Okay, this is a little bit uh, awkward here. Uh, it's strange. Um, anyway, uh, okay, let's create an object quick. I will create a box and apply here. Yeah. Uh, so you can see that uh, Gribble is making from object some interesting shape. Uh, like you can create cities with this. Uh, if you render it from a distance, or you can play the spaceship, or you can just add uh, more details to your model. Now, uh, I have no idea why it wasn't working here. Surely it should, but. Oh yeah, now it's working. So, Of course, uh, I don't want to use it this way because, first of all, uh, it's too big. Okay, I would like to. I use maybe the settings here and also edit this one here so make it uh, really small increase the density probably I don't know to 50 and with uh, a lot of settings you can really achieve a very nice uh, looking object so it's very interesting, but uh, I will not use it here. Uh, maybe if I will do any spaceship, it would be very nice to use it there. So, just to show uh, what we can do. So, uh, to make a really uh, just few details which don't mean anything here, uh, let's go to the right view. Uh, I mean, with uh, anything, uh, it don't have any purpose there now. Just to make it more interesting. More well, objects really make. Uh, models more interesting and they are looking better after so I will create here a box create it here a box uh, this can be five it doesn't matter I'll keep the color like it is so I can see it before uh, the main body here and now uh, first of all I will move it somewhere move it here Okay, so I will move a little bit back, select these uh, edges here and connect them. So far, just once. I will move this down. And now again, uh, I will connect these edges. Let's try this uh, with the scale tool. Uh, uh, I'm a little bit sorry, I'm still ill, so you can probably hear it on my voice. And now we can go back to perspective. And yeah. So, uh, what this shape should mean, uh, really, nothing. <coughs> Just to, I don't know, to look nice there. So, uh, you will understand in a minute for what. Now, I will make it uh, smaller, of course. Now, uh, I need to extrude this a little bit. 
is y okay now because uh, I really don't need the uh, top edges I will just backspace them uh, away I also don't need this here and the words also here and also this one and this this and this here oops first the edge uh, then the vertex so very simple uh, it's should be should represent just a plate now uh, I will select this and this edge and make a chamfer. Uh, for this, I will do just a uh, one step chamfer. Okay, let's say one. Now, the same value I will apply here. And here, I will apply a double chamfer. So I will go you know, this far apply and go with the value lower now it's looking strange but wait a second so okay now I will do a mirror of this shape I will create a copy in okay where is my axis no it's not this yeah, this one. Create a copy. I will go back to right view. Oops. Set to zoom, and I will move it down. Uh, in the same position like uh, it is this before. Now I will attach the object back uh, together. I will select in perspective mode this and this poly, and make a bridge. Now, if I have this one, I need to chamfer all the edges. So I will try to do it at once. So select this, add this, and let's try a loop. No, of course the loop is not working how it should. It's never working by me. So uh, you need to uh, select the edges manually, uh, like me. So we need to chamfer. So what I'm creating here is just a plate. On the plate, I will place some screws and after some sign or some text. And it's really just to make the the final touch of the model. Just one or two detail sometimes makes the difference between nice looking model or bad looking model and so. So here is everything, and the same I need to do here. So just select, oops, these edges, and manually after this one. So anyway, uh, I really hope you like that. I mean, the tutorial. Uh, I was trying to make uh, really honestly stuff uh, right. Uh, I was. Uh, try. Uh, I was trying to fixing all the bad uh, vertex and polys and stuff like that, and don't uh, show away about uh, on that. And just to show you how really it's not so hard to do a model like this, and that you can do it yourself very easily. So the last thing which I need to do here is select the top and the bottom poly. And inside that, so the shape will be, let's say, repaired, or stuff like that. So this should be maybe too much. Oops, not zero, zero five. So just a little bit. And now uh, delete the top and the bottom, cap it. Now I will don't keep the bottom. I don't need the bottom. Let's save some police. So here I will do the same. I will just delete the bottom police and cap it after. 
now here we can do the card if you want if you don't we don't need because we don't uh, we will not apply on the subdivision maybe just smooth uh, the shape don't have to be like right now I will affect the pivot to the center and if I can sync it inside our model just to keep the little bit I will also change the color to fit now I need uh, one, two, three, four screws. So anyway, I need just to copy one, select one, hold on Shift and drag it away. I will make a copy. I will rotate it by ninety degrees. And now I will try to place it in the right position. So I will go to right. Uh, it will be the fastest way to make this, and I will place. I'll make it first smaller. Okay, I will place more, I think. Place here two. And also here. So I deleted this one, but doesn't matter. I will select all of them. Copy it down. Can try to make a mirror of this. This should fit, but yeah, this should be fine. I just might remove a little bit here. And now, selecting all the screws, we need to pull them uh, to the shape to this, let's say, sign or uh, whatever you want to call that. Oh, it's a little bit too much. This is fine. So we have this course here, and we just put there some text. So uh, here is the text. Oops. Let's make it here. So uh, I will do this text to the sphere. Now change the font to something which I like more, like Tahoma. Of course, it's too big. It's way too big. But uh, can of course rotate that. Gain by 90 degrees and look okay. Too big. So maybe maybe two and a half. Yeah, two and a half would be good. And I will make these the uh, capital letters. Now uh, we can apply here an extrude modifier and extrude it by 0 0.5. And again, uh, we will, well, it's too, way, way too much. Don't need that. 0 0.5 will be enough. Oh, maybe not. 0, 0 0.1. Oops. Okay, let's go with 0 0.2. And we will again sync it inside our model. Now we can convert it to poly. Or we can keep it like it is. Doesn't matter. And just make a nice sign of that. That it's our tutorial, our model. Now uh, with these plates you can make a lot of like details here. Place them anywhere you want. You can place one here. Should be actually, which uh, would look not so bad. You can uh, you you don't have to make another one. You can easily uh, select this one, hold down Shift, uh, drag it away, uh, clone to object. Now make the object smaller. Of course, it's too big. So make it smaller, like you want. Now select a uh, border of all. Hold on Shift, drag it away, and you can make the bottom or not. Uh, we don't have to. So just affect in pilot and again placing in the right position. 
Now, oh, of course, before uh, it's nice to do the chamfer on the top and also on the sides, but uh, this is really up to you. Uh, I like, uh, of course, to make all the chamfers anyway at any time. So, chamfer, uh, really a small one. The same you can do here on the sides. Okay. So again, uh, let's say uh, it's a detail. It's just uh, like cosmetic stuff, which makes the model more interesting and so on. So you can place here a lot of stuff. Of course, you can unhide all. This we can hide again. Uh, hide selection. So here's our add-on already to make a chest render. So let's go to plane and we will do some VIP render of the weapon. So we'll create a plane, I will do it much bigger 2000 to 2000. Now I will uh, turn on show say frame. Uh, change the resolution to something widescreen. Now, uh, rotate the camera how you wish. I don't know. Uh, I will go with this here. Probably. And now it's your call. Uh, smooth, don't smooth, modify our subdivision. It's really up to you uh, what you really want to use. Now, uh, from a view like this, it's a little bit from distance, even that don't looks from a distance. I will probably use ju I will probably use just the smooth modifier. You really don't have to use a subdivision on that. Uh, for a shot, uh, for a detail shot, uh, probably a subdivision, but uh, you don't have to apply a high subdivision to everything. Like the main body really was. Uh, Looking nice with a high subdivision, but uh, the but the rest, uh, I think. Oops. Okay. Uh, anyway, I think I have some problems with the memory. I mean, I have less of that. So it's hard for me to do that, but. I think uh, I can finish it uh, like this. So I'll make uh, just a standard materials white and more white, place skylight, drag it up, set up the render. Now it can go from 4 to 16 and 400 for details. And now again, uh, subdivision or not. So let's say uh, Control A of everything. And we'll place here smooth modifier, auto smooth, and prevent indirect smoothing. And now you can decide uh, what needs subdivision, what not, uh, if to use that or not. It's really just up to you. Uh, you can keep it like this. Try the render, and you will see or make more. Also, uh, to making uh, the materials will hide a lot of things, like maybe now you think uh, this is not perfectly smooth, you have to use a uh, higher subdivision. Yes, of course, but you have to understand that uh, it is just a white material after you will have there some radiant material. It will be shooting the light from it a uh, different way and it will be also looking different. So. So, uh, from my side, that tutorial is uh, done. Uh, I hope you like that. I hope you learned something. And I really hope to see you by some next part or next tutorial here on Tridosphere. And that the next tutorial will be better than this. So, thanks for watching. This 70 parts, a lot of hours. And see you next time. Bye bye.